Good evening, candidates. This topic is of importance for people appearing for interview in the next few days. What is Delhi excise policy case and why was Mr. Kejriwal arrested? The Enforcement Directorate has alleged that the liquor policy scam was to give wholesale liquor business to private entities with a fixed margin of 12% for a 6% kickback. Delhi Chief Minister arrives at Rouse Avenue to appear before ACMM Divya Malhotra following summons issued to him by the Delhi court on the basis of Enforcement Directorate complaints in connection with the Delhi excise policy. Excise policy case. The Enforcement Directorate took Delhi Chief Minister into custody on Thursday evening in relation to the ongoing Delhi liquor policy case. This marks the third high-profile arrest of an Aam Admi Party leader connected to this case. This development follows Delhi High Court's refusal to grant him protection from arrest in the liquor policy case. He was arrested for failure to comply with the nine previous summons from Enforcement Directorate for questioning. But what exactly is the Delhi excise policy case and what are the allegations against Kejriwal and other AAP members? In November 2021, the Delhi government under Arvind Kejriwal's leadership introduced a new excise policy aimed at modernizing liquor sales in the city. However, this move received mixed reviews with some applauding its progressive approach while others raised concerns about its potential financial and public health implications. Less than a year later in July 2022, Delhi's Chief Secretary Naresh Kumar reported violations in the policy to Lieutenant Governor Ms. L.G. Vinay Kumar Saxena, who recommended a probe by the Central Bureau of Investigation. The report submitted alleged financial losses to the Exchequer amounting to more than 580 crores. I don't know why it has gone. I think it has disappeared, you know. I don't know why. The Enforcement Directorate alleged that the policy was intentionally designed with loopholes to favor AAP leaders and promote cartel formations. It accused the AAP leaders of receiving kickbacks from liquor businesses in exchange for preferential treatment such as discounts, license fee waivers and relief during the COVID-19 pandemic disruptions. The enforcement directly alleged that the scam involved giving wholesale liquor business to private entities with a fixed margin of 12% for a 6% kickback. Additionally, they were accused of influencing elections held in Punjab and Goa in early 2022. The CBI conducted raids targeting Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia and three others. The CBI named Sisodia and 14 others accused in FIR, including AAP Communications in charge Vijay Nair who was arrested in September 2022. In March, the Enforcement Directorate told a court that the proceeds from the alleged excise policy scam amounted to more than Rs. 292 crore. Recently, Bharat Rashtra Samiti leader K. Kavita 
was also arrested for allegedly paying rupees 100 crore to AAP leaders to receive benefits of the new Delhi excise policy. What are the accusations against CM Kejriwal? The Enforcement Directorate asserted that Kejriwal himself engaged with key accused Despite receiving nine summons, Kejriwal was apprehended after the Delhi High Court rejected his plea for protection from arrest. Kejriwal maintains enforcement directorate actions are politically motivated, orchestrated by the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party. Senior advocate Abh Abhishek Man Singh V, appearing up for Kejriwal, argued in court that the summons hacked lacked specificity and amounted to a vague fishing expedition infringing upon Kejriwal's, Kejriwal's fundamental rights. In the light of the ongoing developments, the case continues to draw attention and scrutiny. The arrest will be in grave violation and infraction of fundamental right to life and liberty. The March 16 summons was issued on the same day on which the general election was declared. The Enforcement Directorate has been calling since last year. They cannot wait for two more months, Singh we said. So this is about the famous Delhi excise policy case. Thank you.